the Loch Ness Monster is actually not from Scotland. Turns out this real-life creature lived in the freezing waters of Antarctica about 70 million years ago. In 2019, researchers discovered fossils of a huge prehistoric marine reptile that looked a lot like what people described as Nessie. This beast was terrified, measuring up to 36 feet long with a massive giraffe-like neck. It also weighed around 15 tons, which is about the size of three elephants. Next up on our list of huge animals is a penguin. I know penguins aren't exactly what you'd call big, but scientists have just found what they think might be the biggest penguin ever, the Kumamu foreshi. It's believed that these giant birds were hanging around New Zealand about 55 million years ago, and they were huge, weighing over 330 pounds. That's about five times the size of the emperor penguins, which are considered the largest penguins alive today. Now let's move on from massive creatures to something much smaller. Meet B. Manfred Schmidt, a great ape that lived around 12 million years ago in what is now Germany. This creature is very special as it's the tiniest great ape ever discovered. And when I say tiny, I really mean it. These ancient animals only weighed about 22 pounds. They were basically no bigger than a super chunky cat. If you think small creatures aren't scary, wait until you meet the electric blue tarantula. This newly discovered species from Thailand's mangroves has an almost otherworldly electric blue color. Its vibrant hue doesn't come from pigment. It is actually caused by the unique structure of its hair, which reflects blue light, making it look like an extraterrestrial being. We're going even further now, diving into the freezing pitch black depth. At around 2,000 feet deep in the Andaman Sea, scientists found a new species of ghost shark, which they named Chimera supai. Their appearance is straight out of a horror movie. They have sleek, pale bodies, frills that look like feathers, and large, creepy eyes. These ghost sharks aren't actually sharks, but they are related, having diverged from their cousins about 400 million years ago. The good news is they're not too scary since they're only a bit bigger than a shoebox. Just when you think we can't find stranger creatures, we come across this ancient amphibian from Brazil. Scientifically known as K. rosi, this newly discovered giant crocodile-like creature lived during the Triassic period over 240 million years ago. At nearly 10 feet long, it had a powerful jaw resembling the modern day alligator. This beast was definitely a survivor since it adapted to the most severe conditions ever seen on the planet. Last year, scientists were tracking the dense Amazon rainforest at night when they found some quirky orange spiders that looked like they were wearing black boots. The team soon discovered it was a new type of giant crab spider. And no, they don't look like crabs at all. They only got their name because while perched on plants, these spiders spread their legs out to the sides just like crabs. Do you know that some new species are named after celebrities? Hollywood icon Harrison Ford now has his very own snake, for example. Discovered in Peru, T. Harrison Fordy honors the actor famous for his role as Indiana Jones, an archaeologist with a notorious fear of snakes. Unlike the film's menacing serpents, this new snake species is quite modest in size, measuring about 16 in long. We also have the Romolian princi, a small new species of pygmy chameleon from Tanzania that was named after U.S. rapper and poet Prince Ia. He received this honor because of his work raising awareness about global environmental issues. Another celebrity namesake is DiCaprio's snail-eating snake, which hangs out in the shrubs of Panama's forests. This Irmalin DiCaprio is about 15 in long and spends its nights on palm fronds looking for snails and slugs. Its round eyes look like glowing coals that can be a bit scary, but overall, the creature is super chill. Even when it feels threatened, it doesn't bite. It just coils up around its head and gives off a really bad smell. Now something a bit more sinister. Meet Venomius Hardy. Does that name ring a bell? Exactly. This new species of spider was named after Tom Hardy's portrayal of the infamous Marvel character Venom, and all because the black spots on the spider's abdomen reminded researchers of the famous anti-hero. Most spiders of this species were found in Australia at night, sitting in their elaborate webs forested areas near the coast. When disturbed, these creepy crawlers often hide in silk-lined hollows in tree branches. We've also got something for the Lord of the Rings fans. In the vast and warm waters of the Amazon River, 
scientists have just discovered a new species of paku. This fish is a relative of the terrifying piranha with a plant-based diet and human-like teeth. It was named Milo plus Sauron because of a bold vertical black mark on its side, which reminded researchers of the fiery eye symbol of the villain Sauron from Tolkien's epic saga. Wait, is that a tanned capybara or a wild dog? Well, actually, it's neither. This is a newly discovered dwarf deer. This tiny creature about the size of a basad hound scurries through the forests of Peru. The combo of large eyes, stony body, and short legs makes this animal simply adorable. This cute little deer is the complete opposite of what we've got coming up next. This bizarre looking creature is what we believe the beast of five teeth might have looked like. Its fossils found in Chile and Patagonia showed that it lived during the age of dinosaurs about 72 million years ago. This finding is just another piece of evidence that mammals had been roaming around that part of South America much earlier than we thought. Moving from the forests of South America to the deserts of Australia, we come across a sand dragon lizard known scientifically as Tenferis tayacalpa. With its sandy color and long lean body, this lizard looks like it could star in a Dune movie. Discovered last year, this sand dragon lizard blends in perfectly with the hot sands of the Great Victoria Desert in Southern Australia. For over 10 years, a large-eyed creature managed to hide from scientists who ventured into the mountains of southwestern China, but not this time. In 2023, the group finally managed to take photos of seven frogs that didn't match any known species. They're now known as lean odorous frogs, a species that grows to be about two in long and has small bumps all over their grass green bodies. Off the coast of Chile, we have recently found a seam mount nearly four times as high as the Burj Khalifa. Underwater mountains are usually home to beautiful life forms like sponge gardens and ancient corals. But this Chilean seam mount also hit a creature known as the flying spaghetti monster. It's a rare type of squid with long noodle-like tentacles that make it look like an underwater pasta dish. Including its tentacles, this strange creature can be over 130 feet long. Recently, scientists were diving into the cold waters of the Antarctic Peninsula when they thought they had found an ordinary dragonfish swimming by. But there was something unusual about this one. It turned out that this fish had two darker vertical stripes along its slender body. That's when they realized they were looking at a new species, the banded dragonfish. From bizarre sea creatures to a cute one, in 2017, locals were diving near Ko Island in Japan when they found the skeleton panda sea squirt. This deep sea oddity quickly won people over with its look because its black spots actually resemble a panda bear's eyes and ears, at least if you have a good imagination. This unusual creature filters water to catch its food and is yet another reminder of the ocean's hidden wonders. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright.